New tonight at six, a story of unique connection. One is an ex convict, the other a Columbus police officer together for the last six years. They've created remarkable opportunities for Columbus City youth before heading back to school. Tonight, NTV's Bryant Summerhill explains how sometimes the biggest differences leads us to our greatest connections. Inside the fresh barber shop off North High, <laughs> an infectious personality <laughs> with a refreshing little, outlook little, little who was making a deep cut on today's troubled youth. No, what I'm doing is only on a small scale of what's been happening with the youth around here. Rob Kaysen wasn't always a barber. No, he was once a troubled youth himself, spending six years locked up for drug and gun charges. Then when he got out, he found meaning and purpose through clippers and scissors. He has been a friendly neighborhood barber. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody says. The last decade and six of those years have been spent. Anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred kids. Giving back. Total? Yeah, total. And helping him make it happen. Yeah, it's kind of humbling when you think about it. It goes by quick. Pete Casuccio, who for the last nine years has been patrolling the Linden area as a Columbus police officer. Because what you actually had is you had two good people kind of in, in, in the midst of a crazy world who decided they want to do something positive. The last six years, they've been the faces behind Cops and Barbers, an opportunity for city youth to receive haircuts and back-to-school supplies. Casuccio yep. says it's about seeing a need and filling a need. So having the opportunity to interact with them kind of puts everybody on a human level. You know what I mean? When it's not in an official capacity, it, it allows them to kind of see an officer as a human being. Casuccio and Kaysen both know it's gotten bad. Homicides and crime. I feel it's actually been getting worse from the time I started from the time now. The question is easy. How do we fix that? The answer, maybe not so much. I don't know. I, I, I wish I could tell you. What they can tell you, there's a fine line between engagement and brushing it off. And what they're doing, more important than ever, and they, this unlikely pairing. So I think this is just, him and I are just one more example that I guess people are still good, right? They know that good is not lost. Yes, it'll always be worth it. In Columbus, Bryant Somerville. From then till now to the future, it'll always be worth it. 10 TV News. What a great story, Brian. Thank you so much. The 100 children who are getting haircuts this weekend are pre-registered. It's hosted by Starfish Assignment and sponsored by AEP Ohio.